What's up guys, Josiah Martin here with a very special episode. In fact, the first episode of Storytime. So last year, my cousin Chase was telling me about this awesome place over in Seward called Bear Glacier and how you could kayak up to these icebergs that were bigger than my house. And I mean, that's saying something. So I was getting super pumped to go over on this adventure and the summer just kind of slipped away from us and he left for college. Now in comes my friend Willow. She's also an adventure seeker. So we plan the date, load up the kayaks and hit the road. Oh, and there's no trip you can go on in Alaska without hitting some kind of road construction. It was turning out to be a beautiful morning. And oh, this was the spot where Willow took this awesome picture of myself. What's up guys, me and my friend Willow are headed over to Seward right now to go kayaking at Bear Glacier. And we were just stoked for the day ahead of us. Everything seemed to be going great until there was a sudden change of events. The wheel bearing is just about out on this trailer, like the wheel practically is about to fall off. We still have another hour before we even make it to Seward, so there's no way this trailer's making it that far. So we're gonna park the boat and trailer just down the road, then try and figure out how to get the trailer back home and then uh, salvage the rest of the trip. So we made a quick call to our friends over at the Alaska Rivers Company, and they said we could park our boat there for the time being. So we unhitched, jacked up the trailer, and surveyed the situation, and things did not look good. So you think we got a bearing problem? That wheel was gonna fall off in like one more mile. All right guys, so we took the tire completely off. We're gonna go back into town, buy a new axle for the trailer. Then we're gonna try and fix this trailer and uh, go from there. All right guys, well I'm sad to say we're gonna have to put a delay on the trip. This axle is gonna need a repair, it's gonna take a while. So anyway, we are gonna do this trip, it's just not gonna be today. So anyway, fast forward one week. So that week, my dad and I went back out there. The brackets holding the axle on were so rusty, we had to sawzall it off. So with the old axle off and the new axle on, we were finally ready to go except the forecast called for the next seven days to be rainy. So we waited. Days went by. I cleaned my room. We saw the Aurora that week. And after eight impatient days of waiting, we finally drove back to Seward and dropped the boat in the water. All right guys, so we've fast forwarded nine days. The past eight days have been super rainy, but today we have a lovely day in front of us. So we've fixed the axle on the trailer. We've made it all the way to Seward. The boat is going in the water right now. We are looking forward to boating across the ocean, getting the kayaks in the water, and checking out Bear Lagoon. There's Willow. She likes to be the center of attention. Similarly, this otter also seemed to like all the attention as he floated around, trying to open a shell as we snapped some pictures of him. This is way cool. As we're putting the boat in the harbor, there's just a bunch of sea otters just hanging out, eating their breakfast, getting ready for the big day. And then we finally got the boat started and took off, excited to finally be on our way to see Bear Lagoon.
Okay, pause. Right now we're here and we're hoping to skiff in right here. If you time it right and it's high tide at this time, it works well to boat up this channel. But for us, it's looking a little too shallow and narrow to get the skiff all the way through. So we're gonna jump back into the boat and travel right over there. Park it and then we'll shuttle the kayaks over the land and get into the Bear Lagoon. All right, so we dropped all the camera gear, two of the kayaks up on the beach. We're here on the beach. The guys are back out here <laughs> in the ocean. Um, they're anchoring the boat, taking their two kayaks, bringing them to shore, and then we'll head towards the glacier. So, as Will has said, we anchored our skiff a ways offshore because there was no good place to tie it up. Also, we weren't sure of when low tide was. Then, after landing the kayaks, we shuttled all of our gear and kayaks across the land. And that's when we found a nice log to sit on to enjoy this beautiful day and eat a nice lunch. We're super excited to go explore this lagoon. Let the adventure begin. We slowly began to explore and paddle around all of this beauty. The immense size of these icebergs was breathtaking, but then when you looked beyond that, you saw amazing mountains and chilling glaciers. It's no wonder Willow was taking a picture every time I saw her. How's that cave doing? All right guys, so we're in the middle of this huge iceberg field, exploring every iceberg, taking pictures of every other one. This is such a beautiful and amazing spot. Takes a little bit to get the boat and the kayaks all out here, but totally worth it once we made it.
pretty cool. You can see a cave right through there. Long ago when this iceberg was still connected to the glacier, there was a big river running through that hole. Crazy to think how big these icebergs are. They're just ginormous. Would not want to be next to the glacier when this thing calved off of it. <laughs> Guys, we've been having an awesome time kayaking out here through all these icebergs, but we're on a time schedule so we're gonna have to make our way back to the boat, load up the kayaks, and then head for home. Just had to stop real quick on the shoreline here to get some awesome pictures of all these icebergs, and then we're out of here. Well, we anchored off our skiff way out there. It was kind of a hassle to beach the skiff on a shore and then push it back off. So all four of us are just gonna kayak right out to the boat. So we're timing the waves and watching for the best time to launch the kayak. Then out of nowhere, this wave slams my mom and fills her kayak with water. My dad then rushes in to drag her back to shore. My dad thought it was funny. My mom thought it was Regardless, the second attempt worked just fine and we all made it safely offshore with drone and camera gear intact and dry. Launching kayaks from the beach with waves continually crashing down is not the easiest, but we did it. All right, we made it to the boat. Mom's already inside. Things are looking great. I am soaked. All right, Dad, don't fall in. I would not recommend trying to get into a boat from a kayak. Kayaks are pretty tippy. All right guys, we got the kayaks back in the boat. Everyone is back in the boat, safe and sound. Not necessarily dry, but at least we're safe. Now we're headed back the 18 miles to the Seward Harbor. Right there is Kane's Head. It's an old abandoned World War II base. I was actually standing right up there when my cousin Chase and I spent the night in one of the bunkers. If you want to see that trip, link is in the description. And right over there is the spot I had to jump off those piers into the water to save the boat. I mean, seriously guys, you're going to want to watch this video. Well, there you have it guys. Boats loaded, trip is over. Had a super awesome time. The only problem was not having enough time to spend over there at Bear Glacier. If you're to do this trip, I would definitely recommend uh, spending the night over there. It just was a lot driving two hours, putting the boat in and then getting over there and then kayaking for like less than two hours and then loading everything back up and going back. So it was a lot of work just for a little bit of kayaking, but overall totally worth it. And I would highly recommend you getting over there yourself as well. Thanks so much for coming along on this journey with us guys. If you like this trip, give it a big thumbs up, uh, comment below what you liked, and we'll see you guys next time. Well guys, as I just mentioned, thanks a lot for watching. I'm bringing you all weekly Alaskan adventures. If you guys are loving this content and want to help me out more than just giving a thumbs up on the video, you can buy this awesome t-shirt 
I designed it myself and it helps support this channel so I can keep bringing you guys great Alaskan content. Regardless of if you want this shirt or not, make sure you subscribe to the channel because in next week's adventure, I'll be sharing the time when I went up to Fairbanks last fall to make my very first promo video shoot for a lodge. I'll share some things I learned and I'll also show you guys the biggest bonfire I've ever seen. We'll see you guys then.